and Joyce Esther. She's the one that If you got hit by the fly swatter, consider yourself honored. <laughs> Thank you to the entrants who came out this year and braved this weekend to, to give us something to look at and admire. I think all of the judges here, we, we really enjoy looking at these firearms. We enjoy seeing the progression once we start to learn guys' work, and we love to watch their progression up the line from first gun all the way to master. And we're starting to see that. We were down a little bit this year on the entrance. Um, not sure what causes that. Could be the economy, could be multitudes of things. People have to pick and choose where they go, and I'm glad that all of you in the room here today have chosen to come here to spend the, uh, the Gunmakers Fair at Kempton. So let's get into some of the awards. We will start with the apprentice category. And this is no particular order, just the way I have it on the sheet here. So we're going to start with some of the embellishment stuff. And this will be patch box mechanism and mortise. We did have an eighth entrance that would won a first place ribbon. We did have a second and third. Second place in the apprentice patch box construction and mechanism is 1080. Yeah. If you're here, you can come up and give us your name and what town you're from. Third place is 1070 in The Apprentice. Jason Birkenheiser from Hosedale, PA. Thank you very much. And, you'll, and throughout the night, or throughout the afternoon here, you'll hear the awards, you'll hear the same number written and it'll be the same winners and stuff. Because usually, if it's winning a ribbon, it's it's a gun of good quality. We're into carving now, whether it's raised or incised. We didn't have a first or second winner, but we did have a third place winner, which is 1070 also. The Jason. Same with engraving. We. We changed the score sheets a few years ago to not hurt the maker for trying. So our score system went from obviously having a zero balance being a better scoring gun to a higher point. So we don't penalize you for trying carving and don't try engraving if there's not enough on the gun or if it's uh, not executed well enough to win a place. So you can still win basic confirmation and craftsmanship, but you may not win an individual award in that event. So again, in the engraving, we encourage you, please try carving and engraving. We didn't have a first place or a second place also, but this time it went back to 1080 for the engraving. We don't know who that is. And that is a copy of a Mel Melkor Forney. So, not sure who that was. Basic craftsmanship. This is basically how well the firearm is put together. Your metal to wood fit. We had one basic craftsmanship, and that was 1073. And that is a first place ribbon. Bill Marlin? Marlin. Marlins. Where are you from? Fairmont, West Virginia. I know that area quite well. That's Fort, uh, no, not Fort Frederick. That's What's the fort right there? Cricket's Fort, sorry. Confirmation. This is the last page on your critique paper. and This discusses how well the architecture marriages the entire rifle or pistol together. All the, did you follow the maker's design, the cheek piece, things like that? We had no first place winner in this, but we did have a second and a third. Second place is 1070, and that's Jason again. And then we had third place, 1073. That's a new number. Oh, it's Bill again? Oh, he's right. Sorry about that. Very good. Very good. Okay, we had no military. In the past, we've also changed some categories. If you enter, we ask you to enter a gun. We don't like to be there when you enter it again and then 
so we don't know who the maker is. Uh, so Joyce usually asks questions sometimes throughout the day on Friday or Saturday we would change a category or we would change a contemporary tr tr or traditional to contemporary. So unfortunately you know, we did a few of those today so if you when you come to get your critique paper you might see a scribble line on there and we did change it. Uh, we want the maker to get the most points for what they're trying to rep replicate. So nothing in Fowler, nothing in Buck and Ball, but we did have one first place winner in first gun, and that is the very first gun you've ever built and first gun you've ever entered, and that is number 1068. Mike Hubbis, and where are you from? Rock Hill, New York. Rock Hill? Rock Hill, New, Rock Hill, New York. Yep. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Nothing in the pistol in the apprentice, but we did have one judge's choice, and that was for a pistol, I believe, right, Matt? Yep. And that is 1079. 1079, you Yeah. What is the judge's choice? Judge's Choice is something like it didn't place first, second, or third in one of the events in that category because we do judge the pistols also with the rifles as far as craftsmanship and confirmation and embellishment work with engraving and stuff. But it's something that caught our eye on the gun that it won a ribbon, which is a Judge's Choice, so it means something that we, we liked it. But it didn't get just a participation award, but it actually got an award because there was something on it we liked, whether it was the finish, the architecture, you know, the styling, executed. executed well, like really good metal to finish. I'm not gonna say it's a fourth place ribbon, but it's a fourth place ribbon. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice way of saying it. But do we know who the 1079 was? John Beck. John Beck? Yep, right. Where are you from? South Central Pennsylvania. South Central Pennsylvania. Thank you for entering. Now, like in the past, any one of these categories, whether it's apprentice, journeyman, or, or master, could eventually win best of show. We had it last year in the journeyman. And we also had, you know, we have the, the uh, Rich Boys Award this year, which I think we're gonna reward this year. But we also give uh, best of class for each division. And this year we have a contemporary winner in best of class, and we have a traditional winner in best of class. So the contemporary winner is number 1070, Jason. And then the traditional winner is 1080. The 40. The 40. That completes the apprentice. Okay, we'll now get into the journeyman. Patch box construction and mechanism and mortise. First place ward 1071. I have written. Brent Davis? That person here, or we're going to just sell it. Right. <laughs> Brent Davis. Brent Davis. Green Line, Pennsylvania. Green Line. Green Line, Pennsylvania. No second or third place. Okay. Uh, raised carving in size or raised. First place, stay there. 1071. Brent Davis again. Green Line, Pennsylvania. No second place raised carving, but we did have a third, and that would be 1076. Okay, I got a new one. Good. Bill McCarthy. Bill McCarthy? Where are you located from? Northern Bucks County. Northern Bucks County. Northern Bucks County. Good. We only had one entrance that was considered uh, a journeyman engraving, and that was number 1076 also. Basic craftsmanship. First place, 1067. Scott McNally from 
Paoli, Pennsylvania. Thank you. Second place craftsmanship was 1071. That was Brett Davis again. Nothing for third. Confirmation, we had no first, no second, but we did have a third, and that was 1071, Brett Davis again. No military. No fowler, no buck and ball. And obviously we can't have a first gun. Uh, no pistol, but we did have one judge's choice, and that was number 1065. Shouldn't have a purple ribbon. Has to be a pistol. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, 1065. Name? Carlisle. Yeah, I know he's from Carlisle, but I didn't hit the first name. Richard. 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 Congratulations, Richard. We had few more entries in the journeyman category, but we had to combine both the contemporary and traditional because they both were very hard to, to decipher. So we picked one firearm from that category and we made it number 1071, best of class contemporary and traditional, Brett Davis. And that ended the awards for journeyman. Now we get into the master category, which was very difficult for us. We went back and forth, even including today, on some of these guns. So master category, patch box construction and mechanism and mortise. The first place winner was 1069. Yeah. Tom Groller. Tom Groller. If you get a chance after um, we give everybody their firearms back and critique sheets, if you let them open that, stuff, that patch box, I did open it for a few guys, see how that's constructed, unbelievable. No second and third place in that patch box award. We did have three winners though in raised carving and incised carving, and the first place winner was 1069. That's Tom. Very nicely inside. Second place was 1083. Okay. Larry Spiesack, Morgantown, West Virginia. Larry Spiesack, Morgantown, West Virginia. Third place, 1077. Southern Michigan. We had no engraving award. Some of the guns didn't have enough engraving, and some of them would, were, uh, we decided not to award. Basic craftsmanship. First place winner, 1069. Second place, 1081. I think that's the pistol. Uh, John Casalica. Technically, I think he's a McCandless Township. No. And third place is 1074. New one. Alan Treigler. Northampton, Pennsylvania. North Pennsylvania. One of these days I'll get as good as Art. He can remember people from 40 years ago, but you know, since he's living in Georgia, he's not used to this good air up here in the mountains of Pennsylvania. He's, his voice went out, so he made me do it again this year. But he'll be back next year. Confirmation. First place again, 1069. That's Tom again. 
Second place, 1081. That was John Casella again for the pistol. And third place was 1074. Alan Tricler. Don. North, Northampton, Pennsylvania. Northampton. Tricler? Tricler, yeah. Don Tricler. Northampton. Oh, Alan, oh, Alan Tricler. Okay. Nothing for Miller. So we have a lot of empty spaces here. So go out and build a fowler. Go out and build a bucket ball. It's already in the works. We'd really like to see them. Good. We had Good. one award for pistol. And that's 1081. That's a first place ribbon for pistol. That's yeah. John Costello again. <laughs> and we had a judge's choice in 1075 in the rifle. Alan Tricler, Northampton, Pennsylvania. Thank you. Contem we do also in the master class, we combine the contemporary and the traditional into one class. Obviously, when you come to the fair, we have to judge you against your competition. So when we get not enough rifles, as we did last year, we have to consolidate you know, to try to make it more of a competition. So we combine them together. That's what I tried to convey the last time I said that. I hope if it came off too brash. We have one winner, and that is 1069 rifle. That's Tom. Okay. Tommy G! Tommy G. <laughs> so, we normally give out either a Best of Show, and we also have what's the Rich Hoys Award. The Rich Hoys Award, if I remember how I, I think, best represents the execution of a Pennsylvania long rifle. So, it's not too often that you would get a gun that would be awarded best of show and win the Rich Hoys Award. This is our third year. We have yet to award that right, that award. And between the judges, we come up to the point where we said we have a gun that would win that award. And that year, this year, we picked the Rich Hoys Award winner to 1069, Tom G. <laughs> So, Rich was, like on the accoutrement side, was the guy on the gun side who was one of the founding starters and members of the gun judging when the gun judge, uh, the fair started. So all, all of us have known Rich for many, many years, at least 30 years, and we all sat and he mentored us. So it's not like we don't know what he meant and what he means to us, and that's the type of guy he was. So it makes me kind of upset that he's not here. So, and uh, everybody misses him. He's in your program. He's always honored. The guys get together and make sure he's in there, and we really miss Rich. So, um, other than that, um, if you bring your ticket and make sure you sign it, don't sign it until you get up here with Joyce. Signatures have to match. We'll give you your critique paper. We'll give you your rifle. Um, and it, we'll stick around after if you want to. Uh, read your critique paper and have us answer what you mean and stuff and then uh, we'll to kind of uh, try to let you know what you did wrong or right or whatever like that based on our eyes. So. Okay, so we'll her up. Here's your spring. And then the latch is a hidden mortise in here, see? Okay. Yeah. And this rifle won a lot of... Yeah, this was the Rich Hoyts Award, which is just, like, so emotional to just win yeah. that. It's just that's in that easy. Uh, we all know about Rich Hoyts. I, mean, just... I knew you were getting it. You did. I mean, this is a beautiful, so beautiful happy. rifle. And what school of rifle is this? This is a, a John Rupp. It's John, John Rupp. Rupp. That's, a, that's John a Lehigh. A Lehigh. Lehigh. With a side opener. Side, side opener. John, very unique gun. Uh, here's the other side. And the tang. Beautiful, beautiful oh, yeah. piece. Of course, you got to have the Indian head. Oh, yeah. Lady Liberty. Oh, yes. Yep. Thank you for showing that to me. Sure, no problem.